Oh, hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to Nexus. Ah, uh, yes, morning glory as yes. the fog is still around here. Let's see. Um, aha! Here is Nico playing as the austere, and he's up against Inca Una playing as the Soviets. Now, Inca Una, oh, that's a neat little trick here. Stopping just one model within uh, the capping circle and let the other one uh, move up a little further. So once the cap is in, he can uh, quickly or get to the fuel or garrison. Anywho, as I was saying, Inkauna bringing along a guard motor, airborne troops and conscripts. Meanwhile, Nico, he is bringing along mechanized assault, spearhead and blitzkrieg. <clears throat> so... Bulletins wise, yeah, Nico the uh, seems to be the standard loadout for our stairs. Buffing Grins and improving the range on the Panzerfaust. And Ikuna, he's just buffing his uh, conscripts here. HMG here from Nico. Couldn't really find a position to make itself useful, so now he's just switching up to the north while um, he now knows that the majority of Ikuna's forces are down south. <clears throat> spots the engineer and they're just heading back into the garrison there where they will be um, let's say it's going to be a time consuming effort to get them out of there unless they uh, leave all by themselves but I don't think Ikuna, he wants that at the moment he'll happily uh, trade here actually well not much uh, trading oh there we go finally a kill came in <laughs> I thought the uh, garrison here would uh, make it a lot more harder for the Grins to kill uh, the combat engineers, but no, that wasn't the case. HMG still not in the position here to help cover uh, the Grins. It is instead been uh, assigned to capping duty. But with Drabble Grenadiers here, he should be able to at least hold on to his um, fuel point. Oh, okay, they're just going back. Hmm, the KV-1. Yeah, okay, conscript support. <clears throat> I wonder if we'll actually uh, see rapid conscription. That's an ability we rarely see being used. Oh, packing up just as the conscripts are coming into range. Okay, but Grins are there. Some pioneers are covering the flank, so the conscripts can't that easily move up here on flank <clears throat> oh nope he's still there still there back back to your posts guard duty eh <laughs> rather uneventful <laughs> oh nope still there uh oh Blitz Creek has been selected and now we got enough troops here ah, okay nico looking to uh encircle him well not completely encircle him at least from this side here and in Kauna, he recognizes that he is greatly outnumbered no point in trying to stay and fight that especially when reinforcements are um, yeah far far away so back to the sandbags boys it will allow um nico to capture the north area <clears throat> and oh if that guy if he continues to stay there, that might actually be pretty good for the HMG. Can he maybe pin? Nah, he managed to get out of the firing arc. Oh, but green cover up here. There's only light cover there, but the angle should be good. Should be good on the, at least one of the squads, though. Grenade? Aha! Ho! Forces them out of cover, and I don't know. That got a couple of uh, models. HMG not coming over to help, instead still keeping an eye on this conscript squad. Back to the middle. Again, Nico here, he's changing his uh, focus. Not wanting to uh, bother too much with the conscripts down there in green cover when he can uh, target those who, who are in a uh, light cover or no cover at all. So, yeah, look at this. They're going down quite uh, fast. Uh, another grenade! 
No! Ha <laughs> ha! Nico baiting in Kauna there. It is possible to uh, fire the rifle grenade and have it give that distinguished uh, click sound. And then you can cancel it without it actually firing um, the rifle grenade at some um, devilish tactics. Hello, Mr. Scout Car. Yeah, just taking its time to get rid of um, some green cover there laid by Inca Una. And as Nico, he is advancing uh, towards Inca Una's fuel. Inca Una has set his sight on to, uh, you know, Nico's fuel, but they have to work fast. They can hear the engine coming. There is a 222 scout car on its way now. And there it is. Spot it. He could easily drive up close. Oh, but they do get the decap, unfortunately, for uh, Nico. Are there any help? Whoops! Standing a little too close to that window. And away they go. Should just retreat them by now, uh, perhaps. No, he wants to have them around here. So once these conscripts here done fighting, hopefully Nico will fall back. And then combat engineers are free to cap. I'm not sure. Or will he go for a chicken mine here? He does have enough uh, munitions. But speaking of munition, Inkauna has been spending uh, it on PPSS submachine guns. Wow. There used to be a time when um, a horde of PPS conscripts wielding um, troops they would just melt infantry since then the pbss submachine gun have been uh, nerfed a bit but uh, at close range still does good damage just the thing that uh, you know this map here is, appears to be a bit open <clears throat> but uh, if Inkauna he can get the jump onto Nico's men then he's all set for doing all sorts of things like this here. Oh, no, he stepped inside the capping circle that could have alerted Nico. And there it is. Rat a tat tat. Spots them uh, wielding the uh, PPHS submachine guns and calls the retreat in there. No soft retreat for them. 105 fuel needed. Yeah. He should be able to get there soon, but uh, not that he needs to take up about now. Oh, in Kauna, he brought out the big artillery. Um, well, not artillery, rather field gun. Just to help him uh, get rid of the 2 to 2 or at least to zone it out. <clears throat> hmm. Green cover, grins, enjoying that. Do we have... No, we do not have grenades here. So no Molotovs for uh, the Grenadiers, which I'm sure the Grins appreciate. Not that they would say no to a drink. It's just that the Molotov cocktails are insanely hot. So hot that uh, it's not the alcohol that's going to kill you. Well, since it's on fire, then, well, might be able to argue that it is, in fact, dead. <clears throat> Catches the um, SIS gun. Didn't get the D crew, but well, a couple of models. How much are they to reinforce? 15 dirt cheap. <clears throat> oh, run! Don't know why uh, Hans was uh, running a little slow there, but he caught up. Uh, he has a little bit of harassment here, trying to push them out of the green cover. Also, this angle here doesn't matter if they're in the green cover. Oh, he's going for the decap, but no. Decides not to risk it. Despite having the T-70 with a um, poor choice of camouflage dropping by, you know. White. This white here, it stands out on the field like a Thor thumb. Oh. Surprise! Fire! Yeah, there we go. And Inkauna, he has to 
retreat his T70. Whoa, that was a one heck of a shot. Do I hear more PPSS? Yeah, okay, there is another squad. We now have two of them. All right. Oh, <laughs> out of control, though. Boom. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that was a sad day to be a 2 2 2. Let's see. Uraring in up close. Runs into a grenade, though, but with their war cry, it took those bullets like a champ. Trying to save his squad here focuses on the, the full health one. And there it is. The squad is safe, and these were routed. However, down south, trouble is brewing as the T-70 is helping um, Inca Una reclaim the southern area. And we're getting another pack gun out. Looks like some tech is going on there. We are escalating up to battle phase two. <clears throat> oh, what are you doing on that side? Ah, green cover. Gotcha. Because of that thing. Well... Are they going for a full cap? A little bit dangerous when the Siskon uh, is that close. Well, no munis. And they were clumped up there, so one good shot. Oh, could it have been a wipe? Maybe. It's certainly at this low health here. But he's cutting it close. There, okay. Retreat. Not losing any models? Uh, okay, I know pioneers are not that expensive to uh, reinforce, but still, that was uh, that was unlucky for Inkauna that he didn't get any models killed there. More PPSS. He is going full rat tat tat here, and they are getting healed. However, if you have the rat tat tat, you need to be in close like this, except. Not suppressed or pinned for that matter. <clears throat> Still, with the arrival of the T70, it is enough to get the Grins, one of them, to fall back while the rest of the gang holds on for the pack guns to set up and, you know, get some fire going. Woo! Main got destroyed. And that allows the Grins to push up. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. He's retreating that squad, though. Okay. Okay, he's falling back then. I was thinking if he had stayed there, maybe he wanted to go in here and flank the HMG, but with only four models and an HMG and LMG squad there, perhaps a little too dangerous. <clears throat> the See his gun? Well, okay, they have a little bit of support nearby. So it should be fine that he leaves it there. Oh, reconnaissance over flight for Nico, getting that aerial overview of what exactly is going on here. And that was um, the wrong choice. Let's just do it like that. Uh, okay, he knows where the Siskon is. That's it. Now, Inca is going for a mortar? Huh. Mortar team reports ready for combat. He really wants something to uh, hit those pack guns at a long distance. And I'm not talking about a Katusha here. We're still a little bit away from those guns, so... Okay. Ooh, still flying. BPS jets coming in. Grins going out. Now, up here though, the T70, how? It has earned veterancy one, but it has zero kills. That's unusual. Mortar. Boom. Didn't do an awful lot of damage, but okay, it's good. It's good. Nico won't be able to sit in that garrison there for much longer. Anywho. Yeah, see. Lots of damage up close. Barely anything at a distance. Now, Nico. He is getting out that uh, Panzer IV. And 
Inca Una. Yes, okay, he's got his uh, mechanized armor company down, and he should soon have enough for a uh, T-34, but I don't think that's what he'll be going for. Nope. He actually... Nope. What? He canceled it. So, does he really want to go for the KV-1 here? It's going to be a couple of more minutes before he has enough resources to do so. Hmm. Panzer 4. I think... I think Una might have heard it. If not, then he will soon know about it. <laughs> there we go. No snares available. Not that he would have been able to snare it. At best, he could have made a... Dent. A, uh, a significant dent, but a dent nonetheless. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like somebody caught... And uh, Maxim on, well, not on the completely unsupported, but out of position. And quick as he was, in Kuna just calls the retreat. All VPs are neutralized. All of them, really? Yep, all of them. Well, boink, and in Kuna continues to save up in terms of uh, fuel for his. Uh, kv1 heavy tank but still invested some of his manpower into a uh cis gun he might be able to have uh, enough uh, manpower once he uh, has enough fuel to get out his um kv1 let's just check here let's just keep an eye on this yeah okay 45 it's going to be a minute before he'll uh, be able to have enough fuel and then yeah he'll have yeah Around 400, so it's it's pretty close. Meanwhile, Nico has the uh, high ground, well, as high as the uh, point there now is here on <laughs> on Nexus. <gasps> oh my! That shot! That shot! That! When death knocks on your door and you answer, not today. That's the T-70 stewing. Back in base, conscripts should be able to repair thanks to the uh, passive ability here. They don't need any repair kit upgrades, they're just good to go. Meanwhile, double siscons here taking a good chunk of health out of Panzer IV and Panzer Tactician. For good measure there, not wanting to risk... Uh, getting shot at anymore unless it's an uh, attack round but uh, yeah even those can miss even with overshot ah <laughs> uh, yeah see this is the thing sometimes I forget that this is a thing and I also suspect Inca Una also has forgotten about this since he could go over there and repair while they are reinforcing or you know just getting healed whatever i think he's okay he has a, just spent the manpower necessary to uh, get the kv1 onto the field oh we just got okay artillery strike good to go ppss getting in close here and pack guns falling back there's no support for them there's the pencil four however and ppss it may have a high fire rate, but man, they're gonna need a lot of bullets to penetrate that armor. No, that's not possible within the game. Oh, not wanting to run in there. Ah, okay, spy that. Let's squat there. Mortar. Almost up to vet too. <laughs> Barely any kills though. Can it? No, it won't be firing another shot. That could have gotten a model, but. Uh, Inca Una is like, oh, I'll happily pay 10 munis to um, keep these boys on the field. Such an inconvenience to have them run back to the base, get healed. One less um, chess piece on the board if you do send them back to the base. Now there's the big boy. KV1. Huh? You need to, uh, you know, break this fence here if you uh, want to get a line of sight onto uh, the garrison. But hey, it's your tank, your choice. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Got rid of it. Flamethrower, burn, yes. 
and more walls are going down mr gorbachev bring down that wall oh 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 no 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 this is bad for the kv1 and the gang no he was spotted in kauna saw that flank come in but now it did open up here from the front but fortunately the kv1's frontal armor is you know heavier armor than its rear uh to 70 here could exit recon more to get down here and help the uh, the cis guns otherwise it's about to fall there we go mortar hey actually has gotten plenty of kills since last time we looked meanwhile both p4s are in a uh, terrible state uh, yeah one of them actually went down down here that yeah uh, that got caught by an uh, at grenade there it is dead and gone it was but now same could almost be said for Inca Una's armor. They all have engine damage. Smoke coming in. And Inca Una calling in some barrage there. No eight conscripts remaining. Oh, traffic, a little traffic jam. And now we're getting in with this range here where their, their damage is barely existent. <clears throat> Another grin squad coming out now for Nico. We have the repairs done here, and more have been conducted. He's dead, Jim. So, T70 strolling about. Oh, oh. These guys forgot their PPS uh, submachine guns. Otherwise, that would have been a better engagement for them. Ah, uh, well. Nothing that the T-70 can handle. Those green grenadiers yet to earn any combat experience. But, you know, getting shot at by a tank do count for combat experience. Nico rolling on in here. Panzer 4. Attending to his AT guns, getting them healed, reinforced. So they are less likely to lose what veterancy they already have accumulated. T-70. And the KV-1. Currently, in Kauna, he is... Yeah, he is moving. We got a little bit of movement down here. He's just not sitting above the middle. Nope. And he's also grabbing the northern area while this is going on down here. But look at this retreat path. Oh, he sees it. Just gets the decap, runs away. The Panzer IV might be able to uh, get some good hits in here as they retreat. But now the KV-1, not fully repaired, but nonetheless, it was going down there just to make sure the uh, P4 wouldn't dive them now there we go penetrating shots on the kv1 both p4s are still fine oh no is he it oh no 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 don't repair while on the fire see there whoo those engineers the glory to the red army indeed one grenadier squad down what's that yeah i think that was uh, one of the highly vetted one Oh, driving straight into this. Gets around the AT guns, though. Needs to be careful now. Um, I'm not so sure what's about to happen with those cis guns. There we go. One of them is almost in position. Pindle Mountain Machine Gunner is trying to get rid of it. Smoke has been popped. This one here might... Oh, 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 oh. I think he's going to make it. Yeah, more troops have been lost. That was just the D crew coming in there. Snared. Popping smoke. We need some attack round action here from the Sis gun. It's coming in. Misses! By a millimeter. And again. Diska. No, Maxim. Didn't quite catch it. Now the Sis guns, they're on the hunt here. He has to blitz. Well, he cannot blitz. His engine is damaged. Okay, the Siskan 
stop the chase. Oh, but, 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 these pioneers here. Grenade. Oh! Another D crew. Still, that was the one that was recently uh, recruited. PPSS and a seven man squad. Oh, 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 okay. A little dangerous there, but gets away with it. Nice. That merch, though. <laughs> Oh, I think he won't be able to get away with this. Yeah, that was just free pickup there from Nico. Yeah. That's like third time uh, in a quick succession that Siskon has been uh, decrewed. And he even lost the... Oh, the mortar, but... PPSS gunners coming up here to kick the Germans back home. And now he can safely recrew his sis gun. <clears throat> During that push, he didn't manage to get any of the armor here that the Inca Una feels. And now Inca Una, he just expands with another KV-1. But Nico, he's got enough fuel for another tank. But he is looking to escalate up to battle phase 3. To get a panther, which is uh, good versus the KV-1. And... Better, maybe better versus infantry than a Stug, but hmm. Oh well, the Stug would of course have been a uh, cheaper choice when it comes to dealing with the KV-1, but you know Panthers they are, um, you know, just more mobile and has a um, rotating turret, including their um, the Pindelmeyer machine gun also able to rotate unlike the stoop which is also stuck in a uh, forward angle still that pesky little t70 there now providing good vision for inca una while nico he has to uh, you know spend munis on uh, his planes <clears throat> a triple cap now for inca una is looking good he is about to equalize the victory points as, yeah, Nico is just dropping points rapidly. Looks like Nico has set his sight down south, wanting to get that armor. Well, not armor, VP, rather. And the rest of the gang. Well, AT Guns are making a move down south. He did spot a KV-1 down there, but that's the new one. He still has the vetted one up here. Secure mode, veterancy ability. Um, doesn't look like it has secure mode, guys. <laughs> Maybe it's just the hold down that's been uh, given to it, making it more secure. Jiki jiki. Well. At least now Nico, he uh, should know that there are two KV-1s on the field. <clears throat> Heavy Panzer Corps down. Also give him uh, access to the All Out War. Reduces the reinforced cost of Grenadiers, Pioneers, Ostrupens and Team Weapons. Not Panzer Grenadiers apparently. <laughs> I think uh, Nico just detonated one of Incauna's mines unknowingly. Pioneers moving up close and are getting gunned down. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, what is happening to... Uh... Yeah, I just saw that Nico's armor was not doing too hot. Here comes the artillery. Oh, no. The crew there. And this one here... Okay, he is making a getaway, but the artillery destroys that pack gun. And in Kauna, he backs out without losing anything. Nico cannot afford any more of these uh, trades. You know, he didn't get anything in return. Might actually lose a squad here. Needs to get some distance in between him and the PPSH. H. Oh, machine guns. And that lone 
pack gun here is at risk of getting overrun getting flanked down there now the kv1 is going in panther is almost ready to go the panzer 4 has been repaired it needs to get out here and help there we go it's happening but it might be too late now this pack gun is going down incinerary ammo popped a little bit of desperation kicking in now for nico oh let's dance smoke might just save the pack gun rear armor he oh Inca Unes, he went for it didn't get the uh didn't get the 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 the, the, the thing wrecked and engine damage there was the uh oh the snare must have triggered uh must have hit both of them oh this panther here is going down p4 about to bite the dust the panther also looking incredibly poor double siskons pointing at it it's going down for nico i think he lost uh, can the armor hold nope it could not and this is game it's game over nico has left the server i assume and it's just a matter of seconds before the game will end and inca una will snatch victory there yeah well tv once they may have been nerfed in uh, previous patches but their armor is still pretty strong Sinker detected. Game over. Well, that's it for this time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, like and subscribe. Dislike the video if you disliked it. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.